Now, this one's probably going to make a lot of people in Chicago feel great because apparently, you know, it's getting cold. It's getting cold outside and the south of the Bordarian is not used to these Arctic climatic conditions of the Windy City that is Chicago. But they about to find out. And new arrivals pulls up at the 12th District Police Station today. While migrants continue to arrive daily in Chicago, the amount is not nearly as many as it was over the summer when daily bus arrivals were in the double digits. Today, the city is expecting only two buses. Volunteer Luciana Diaz says the Halloween day snow was a reality check for many living at the police stations. The snow day, it was uh, freezing for everybody. And I told, I told them, that's nothing. This is nothing, guys. You should, you should start looking for shelter or go to other state, other city. With the realization of a cold winter ahead combined in... Hold on, y'all. I want, I want to rewind back a today, little bit to that part right there. Uh, freezing for everybody. And I told, I told them, that's nothing. This is nothing, guys. You should, you should start looking for shelter or go to other state, other... Did y'all hear what she just said? I didn't mean to stop because I like to let these run all the way through, but I thought that was very interesting what she just said. And what's going on, Tamika? She said, find another shelter or go to another state because these winter conditions that they're not used to is coming. But I want y'all to pay attention. She said, go to another state where it is warm. So when you think about warm states that are kind of warm, I'm not going to say they're completely warm, but they are better and not as cold. I think of California, Texas, definitely, and Florida. Any store, like any like state like that, where it doesn't get cold. If y'all live in any of those states where it doesn't get cold or y'all don't get cold winters, y'all about to get some new neighbors that are going to carry y'all for the next few months. So people in Chicago don't get too excited. Yeah, yeah, they may not be going to Chicago like in droves like that because it's getting cold. But when it starts to get warm again, they're going to probably hightail it right back to Chicago. So if this is just a heads up, if y'all live in any state right now that does not get cold in the winter months and the winter months are December, January, February in the first half of March. They are going to flood your state, at least for the first part of the year. Then once it starts to get warm again and the weather breaks, then they'll migrate somewhere else, most likely. Or they may just end up staying because why leave a place where it's nice all year round and not just part of the year? Or or maybe. And this is the best idea. They This is the best scenario here. Maybe they can go back to their homeland where it's nice all year round. They ain't got to worry about no snow. The most they probably got to deal with is some rain. Everybody gets rain, but not every place gets snow. City. With the realization of a cold winter ahead, combined with the lack of shelter and jobs, many migrants we spoke with at the 1st and 12th District Police Station say if given the opportunity, they would leave Chicago for another city. Diaz says some migrants even want to go back to their home country. Please do that. Please do that. I would say we would help you pack, but I'm not that generous. So please do that. So now not only are they facing dealing with the cold that's coming in, but they're also about to deal. They're dealing with not being being able to find employment. We could have told them that before they uh, made that journey over here that you wasn't going to find nothing. They are only using you for numbers. I don't know if they've gotten the memo yet. They probably never had the intention of bringing them over here for them to work. They brought them over for numbers. But please go back. Let me rewind it back 10 seconds. 12th District Police Station say if given the opportunity, they would leave Chicago for another city. Diaz says some migrants even want to go back to their home country. They have a, an American dream. 
for in my opinion is a fake American brand. So if they ask me a lot for if I know some somebody who can buy a ticket fly for them to come back to Venezuela. Six word alderman Will Hall, who traveled to the border a few weeks ago, says word is spreading on social media among migrants that Chicago may not be the best place to come. And border nonprofits say not as many people are asking to come to Chicago. Well, people are beginning to get informed that it's cold, opportunities are scarce, and that unless you want to sleep on a concrete mattress, don't come. And that's what those who have come seeking asylum have said. Jorge Barrera has been living at a police station for six months. No tenemos el dinero. With no opportunity to work here, the 39-year-old says he would leave, but he doesn't have the money or luxury to pack up and go to warmer places like California, Texas, or Miami. What did I, man listen? I promise you, I promise you. I said those three exact states. I promise you when I tell you I did not play this video through. This is my first time listening to it, just like the rest of you. I said California, Texas, and Florida. What did they just say? California, Texas, Florida. Because those are the three warming states to be in when it's cold everywhere else, especially in the north. I think now the south of the Bordarian and the not so secret invasioner are understanding or coming to the understanding that they were sold a pipe dream. They were sold a a lemon, as they call it, for, with with a, a bad car. They were sold a, a um a scam, so to speak. But like I told them, we could have told them that. But man, I called that one right down the middle. I can't believe it. But that's crazy. They said this guy, he was he's been living in front of this police station for 6 months. 6 months they've been he been, he's been in front of that police station. Ain't been doing nothing all day every day for 6 months except being there and they said they can't find no job, no opportunities, none of that. We could have told them that. Why? Because there's a lot of people that are already living here, paying taxes here, paying mortgages here, paying rent here, paying bills here, working here, here legally, that are in the same boat when it tries when it comes to trying to find opportunities or jobs. So if the people that already are here legally or were born here can't find jobs or opportunities what makes you think you coming from across the border and across the water and across state lines border lines country lines in some cases continents that you was going to get a job because they told you they must not understand how our government works they must not understand how these pa lie trictions really are. When Abbott and DeSantis sent the not so secret invasioners and in and, and, and the south of the Bordarians from Texas and Florida up to New York and Chicago, it wasn't because of opportunity. It was to get back at the Biden administration and the sanctuary cities. You are nothing more than a pawn in their sick, twisted game of chess. That is it. That is all. If no one told you that before, you're hearing it from me. Despite a migrant slowdown, there are still not enough shelters to accommodate all the new arrivals living at police stations. And the two proposed base camps are still weeks away from being ready and able to accommodate people. Yeah, Rob added Judy, that oh, media. Oh, let me get off of that. So, yeah. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm going to tell you this. I have a place to rest my head. I have warmth 
to keep me nice and toasty to get through these winter months. So I don't know what they going to do, but they going to have to try to figure out something. And yes, DSB, they came for the free handout and didn't get not one handout. They're basically just they're, you're just there for right now. I don't know what they going to do, but they better figure out something fast quick and in a hurry because winter is here for those of y'all who uh watch game of thrones when they came over a couple months ago we were saying winter is near but here we are at it, it, we literally are halfway through fall winter is here and it's only the beginning like where I'm at right now, it was like 69 degrees a day. It felt like a spring day. But guess what? As the days and the weeks go forward, we going to get them below freezing days. We're going to have that thick frost on the car. We're going to have that, that black ice. We're going to have them snowstorms. And if we're unfortunate, we're going to get them blizzards. I don't think they're ready for that. Because like I said, they're not used to that. Tia says somebody's re-election is going up in flames. When it comes to Brandon Johnson, we should be saying what, what re-election? So, uh. I don't know what they going to do, but they better find something out. And I, like I told people, if you live in California, Texas and Florida, they about to make a U-turn. Well, if you well, for Texas and Florida, they about to make a U-turn and head back to those states. And if you in California, they in California, they about to head out. Y'all about to get some more. Y'all about to get some more neighbors. I sometimes jokingly ask people who live in certain states and areas. I said, are y'all enjoying your new neighbors? Just in a joking fashion, because I know nobody's enjoying it. But who would have thought that the answer to the problem would have been Mother Nature? Because, you know, at first it's like you don't think about that because at the time it was warm. So, you know, no one's thinking about that that far ahead. But who would have thought that a shift in the weather could possibly do the trick? Now, I'm just going to say it's most likely just a temporary fix. It's not a permanent one. The only way it could be permanent is if it was winter all year round, but we ain't even trying to deal with that. 